we are back with another q a and if you guys haven't been keeping an eye on the community page on my youtube channel definitely check it out around the middle of the month and you guys can post your question for the next q a video but let's get started if i put caviar egg yolks and ground organ meats like liver on my skin and hair will the vitamins minerals and fatty acids be absorbed so a few of them might be most of them will not but this does bypass your body's natural digestion so it's not realistic by any means and there are specific nutrients that do have a high transdermal absorption like d3 some others like magnesium and iodine do have a lower absorption and can be used but for the most part you want to get your nutrition through your actual diet fluoride is coming back to my city's water plant this fall my drinking water pitcher is capable of removing fluoride but should i also get filters for my shower sink as well or just for drinking and cooking water uh, so i do have several videos on water if you search my channel and you want to find a natural well or spring for drinking and cooking water that's what's kind of affordable but i do purchase glass bottled mineral or spring water for myself which you know does add up you know hundreds of dollars if not over a thousand per year and you can buy a shower filter that does remove some of the negatives as long as you don't shower like twice a day it's not that bad how to maintain a healthy diet while on vacation hotels restaurants no availability of high quality food now if you don't get physically sick while eating the average standard american food it might not be too horrible to deviate for a week or two but for me i'll actually get sick insomnia be miserable so i would look for a local market or bring some food with you depending on the length of the vacation what's the deal with this paraguard stuff is it legit everyone online lately is talking about cleansing their parasites and the stuff is back ordered out an entire month uh, so it looks like a basic anti-parasitic but these types of antimicrobials don't get much further than the early part of the small intestine if anything it's just stressing your liver and if people were putting adequate amounts of this in capsules you know taking a bunch of them letting it go through it would basically destroy their insides diarrhea bombing out all of the bacteria and instead of that you need to incorporate probiotics and a proper antimicrobial regimen which i do go over in the various videos i've done on how to heal your gut and if you did truly have a parasitic infection you would be frail you would have lost a lot of weight basically on death's door uh, so the stages are usually you know getting sick immune system dysfunction possibly liver damage and that turns into fungal infections SIBO candida and if the SIBO candida gets really 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 bad you would have probably already lost a lot of weight it can turn into a parasite infection where you would basically be in the hospital so average person walking around on the street thinking they have parasites is just not correct and when taking these types of caustic like herbal remedies they can damage your intestines so it'll look like your bowel movement will be different so that's why people sometimes think they have parasites you planning on moving to pennsylvania if things go through with the slaughterhouse and other property as soon as possible yes i'd like to relocate you know my personal life and my business to that area hopefully a farm property in addition to the slaughterhouse but i'm not thinking about it too much until i get the funds uh, which i'll give you guys an update on tomorrow how do we get a perfect jawline like yours uh, so most of facial development is already determined in the womb and very early stages of life so it depends on your individual circumstances and current development uh, my jawline was actually sharper before i had the jaw surgery i'll try to find some pictures when i was younger but i don't really have that many i want to drink a lot of beer as a student will this hinder growth it will but not as much as a modern diet while constantly using your cell phone you know so an alcoholic 50 years ago would be much healthier than the average sober person now and what i mean by that is the amount of oxidative stress and damage we're causing to our bodies with these new additions to our lifestyle the chemicals in the food and water the damage from the radiation from all these smart devices we're using that is far worse than drinking beer so hypothetically if you were super healthy living out in the woods in a cabin no other modern lifestyle factors stressing your body drinking beer would be fine if anything drinking beer would actually be healthy but the additional liver stress on top of everything else it's just, it's just not good is dabbing every day at 16 interfering with my growth so it, it's without a doubt impacting your brain development 
by you know increasing the amount of resources your body needs and i did a video on marijuana where i go in depth on this but it's kind of the same answer as that previous question that being said by the time you're 16 17 18 you're pretty much going to be as physically developed as nutrients will allow you to be you might get a little bit taller but the majority of your facial development organ development height has already happened so if you're in your late teens you know it's not really comparable to what your mother was doing or what you had as a younger teenager why do i always feel my heart beating out of my chest when i eat fattier animal foods is this bad uh, yes that's a sign of liver damage and possibly other issues i would try a diet similar to what i'm doing and see if you feel better you can start with like lean meat and white potatoes and start incorporating more foods, but definitely avoid animal fat, dairy, and eggs for at least a couple of weeks. Is only eating raw meat a healthy thing to do or are cooked foods necessary? Uh, so every group of people like tribal, ancestral that were in good health consumed raw cooked and fermented foods. Also from like a modern scientific analytical perspective, it's not possible to get all of the vitamins and minerals naturally without eating certain cooked grains, nuts, seeds, various plant foods. Cooking makes certain nutrients more available by reducing the anti-nutrient content. How to get enough K2? Do I have to supplement it or will seven ounces of the highest quality European cheese a week do it? Uh, so the reason I made organ supplements was because I believe certain nutrients cannot be obtained adequately from food, vitamin K2 being one of them. So if you go to organsupplements.com, you'll see like 11 different vitamin and minerals uh, that you should be either focusing on specific foods that are high in those or just supplementing them temporarily to gauge how you feel. The K2 is, it's even if you're eating a food that's high in it, it's usually also plentiful in the contrasting fat soluble vitamins, which means you're not fixing a potential deficiency because you're increasing the amounts of the other vitamins you're intaking as well. Thoughts on juice fasting or raw milk fasting? Uh, both can damage the body for various reasons, nutrient imbalances, stress on the liver. A water fast with a clean water source that's not too high in minerals would be a much better option if you want to fast. What to look for when buying water kefir grains? I can't buy from you since I'm in Europe and it will cost hella extra. I mean, I think that's like 15 or 20 bucks international shipping. So yeah, if you go to a local farm or whoever's selling it nearby, you could save some money, but keep in mind I'm using all organic ingredients with a high quality mineral water. So if you do get someone else's water key for grains and they do work, I would go through at least a few batches to kind of like detox and cleanse the grains uh, just to make sure you have the highest quality kefir possible. Tips for healthy hair growth. Uh, so you have to figure out which nutrients you aren't getting, you know, what B vitamins you're missing, what minerals, balance things out and you could also be getting excesses of certain vitamins and minerals uh, for me it's a matter of getting plenty of sun for vitamin d supplementing magnesium supplementing k2 and you know if you're losing your hair in any capacity whatsoever or your hair just isn't growing quickly there's something wrong it's just a matter of figuring out what it is what age should babies start eating food uh, so breastfed a minimum of two years preferably three or four while the mother's on a high quality diet, rich in animal foods. And then animal foods can be incorporated into the baby's diet around the two year period. You want a lot of protein, a lot of omega fatty acids for all of their tissue development as well as brain development. Are fragrances safe to spray directly on your skin? Also, what's your favorite fragrance? So even a natural fragrance might disrupt your skin biome and this is very subjective and certain ones can actually be harmful. So try to Google research as much as possible on the ingredient. You know, I do have lemongrass oil in my deodorant on Frankie's Naturals and a different type of oil in my scented hair pomade, but you wanna be careful in what you're choosing. Which are the fruits with the best fructose to glucose ratio? Uh, so grapes are good, apples, pears, and you can just Google this, but it's not the sole determining factor as the anti-nutrient content of the fruit might outweigh the negatives of a high fructose percentage. Why do you use coconut oil versus butter ghee in your cookie recipe? Uh, so coconut has antifungal properties and, and can alleviate candida to some degree. And it's also neutral flavored, but just try both and see which makes you feel better. 
what's a good fat ratio to eat on a daily basis with carbs included? Uh, so you want about 20% of your calories from protein, depending on your lean body mass, and the remainder from energy. So 80% from carbs or fats. And I just eat both to appetite lately, as you guys have seen over the past you know, months, maybe even a year now, it's been mostly carbohydrates. Best advice for a 20 year old college student. Uh, so if I could say one thing, it would be uh, think of something or find something that you want, which makes you excited or happy and, and just focus on that and be happy and excited and enthusiastic about it. Because then whatever you do in your day to day life, you're basically acting as if you know, as happy as you could be. You know, don't worry about the how, don't worry about what you're doing now. You know, if I could tell myself one thing, it would be just find something that you want, think about it, think about how happy and excited you would be to have it, and just apply that enthusiasm to everything you do. And if you do lose enthusiasm and excitement for whatever it was, you know, it could change. You know, one week I might want to lie on the beach with some Russian girls. Another week I might want to sit on a stack of $100 bills. The next week, it could be lining up Rat Boy in front of a ditch and putting a bullet in his head. The point is, whatever makes you happy and enthusiastic and at that moment in time can kind of you know, alleviate any negatives that you're possibly thinking about. I mean, look, if you told me two years ago I was going to be buying a slaughterhouse, I would have looked at you like you had three heads. You, know, I, you never know what life is going to bring you. Uh, you just have to have some type of goal or something you want in mind. And be happy about it because back when I was bartending and negative and hating everything, it just seemed like nothing was working out. So thank you guys for joining me today. If I missed your question or if you have one, just leave it down in the comments below and I'll get to it uh, by the end of today. So if you could also drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and check that notification bell so YouTube doesn't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank Check out all of my businesses, including organ supplements, where you can support me further. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.